Hi, my name is Monica Chin, and my mentor is Elaine Stewart Shaw. Over the past three years at Girls Right Now, I discovered and strengthened my voice, not only as a writer, but as a poet. I want to share with you three poems. One developed out of an exercise from a Girls Right Now workshop, and the others were inspired by personal experiences and emotions. Man and Me. His gaze is soft and heavy. The weight of his brow hangs loose over his droopy eyes. Soft wisps of hair escape from his withered blue hat. His worn, dusty hands lay low by his knees. I watch as his body contorts into a small ball. I see urine spilling from his legs, a trail of regret and hopelessness slowly creeping towards me. The train ignites and chugs forward. I want to step back and away from fear of the unknown and the stench of sulfur and vomit. And yet, I stay and observe. I've become engrossed with this man, watching with a hint of disgust and wonder. His legs lie limp, spent and forgotten. His eyes roll around in their sockets like marbles in a pinball machine. Many others ignore him or take the other car all the while looking the way I look. New sets of eyes peer down on me. I see their reflection, translucent against the black of the windows. I see them hovering together, removed from the man and me. I stand alone, like him, except I'm too close, closer than the others to him. We are, in a way, comrades, knowingly setting each other apart, from everyone else. And then again, we are different. I stand here warm in my winter coat while he shivers from coldness. I look at myself again. I switch cars at the next stop. Defiance. Heated blood pumped through his veins. He thought he possessed her. He thought she was his. But his hot iron fist could not brand her emboldened mind and brazen spirit, nor could his violent words dissuade her from being her. He painted her skin a wide range of colors and caressed her heart with sharpened knives. So she left him with soaring wings, leaving broken chains behind. He now wastes away, alone, left to burn in the cauldron of their so-called love, shriveling up to ashes until he is nothing, until he is just dust. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, a postcard. A postcard that I will never send. Unfortunately, these stamps do not cover the cost of it all. A postcard that is too heavy. Images of you imprinted on it, all of which I will never forget. A postcard so rare and delicate the corners of its edges withered and broken. Unfocused, focused, my eyes too rainy and heavy, they just want to close shut. But all that I do see clearly is a postcard. A postcard with all seasons, all memories, to be soon lost forever. Soon it will be lit aflame with the burning beat of the heart, drowned in the midnight rain pour and lifted high up in the sky as the wind catches it and sends it on its way. Thank you.